guys, it's Way here. Welcome back to another video. And today, in the first time in what seems like forever, EA have actually got something right and nailed a promo with this month's foot swap deals. They've got the perfect selection of players who, are at this stage of the game, are really good value and actually worth grinding towards. And I think that's the first time we've had that with foot swap and the first time we've had that with a promo for quite some time because EA. For example, with Foot Birthday, they did some things right with the players from Weekly Objectives, for example, but then messed up with a lot of the SPCs, making them way too expensive and just not worth completing. But with Foot Swap deals, I think they've got them perfectly done this time. And I'm going to be showing you guys as well exactly what you need to do to get all 14 tokens, which I think a lot of you will actually want to do. First time in ages, um, because I think it's actually worth grinding towards getting these specific Foot Swap players. So you get one for free, you get one player to start off just for signing um, in on Twitter team there's also an SBC available here for the next two days so make sure you complete that uh, you're gonna have one of these coming out every single week so one from the SBCs there's also ones from the weekly objectives so I'll quickly show you guys those and I'll show you guys the players you actually want to grind towards in just a moment too but just want to show you guys how you can get these so you've got um, all the way down at the bottom a new selection of these that will come in uh, in four days time so you're gonna have I think two available there and then each week you're gonna have two from that uh, and then also there's one available from Squad Battles too. So if you play and get, I think, um, Silver 3, that's all you need to do to get that. But let's take a look at the actual players you're getting, um, which I think EA have really nailed. So if you start off, you get a 15k pack, so no one's really going to be getting that. Then you've got 25k pack. You've got an 87 rated inform for just three tokens. Not an amazing inform to use because I think people would rather use Mbappe in that position. But in an FBC, that is perfect. And for just three tokens, I think that's really good and will save you a lot of money if you're looking to maybe do some icon SBCs or a high value SBC that needs informs. You've got a 55k pack for four. I don't really tend to go for the packs. I don't think many people do because uh, there are some really good value players. You've got Timo Werner here for just five. You can get an 87 rated inform, really nice stats, worth a lot of coins. And if you've got a Bundesliga team, he'd be perfect for that. You've got Robertson, one of the best left backs on the game, one of the best left backs in the Premier League as well. And you can get it for just six tokens. So if you don't want to grind out and do the squad battles and everything and just kind of take it easy, just by doing the SPCs and a few weekly objectives, just by playing the game really, without having to specifically aim to do any of these, you can easily get someone like Robertson or you can get Thomas Mernier, his defensive midfield foot birthday card with just seven tokens. You're getting a card with over 80 in every single stat. I mean, just look at that card. He's six foot three, and the lowest stat there is 82. So, such a good card there. You could play him defensive midfield, centre mid, pretty much anywhere on the pitch, really, and he would do a very, very good job for your team. And I think he's a player that a lot of people are going to go for. Him and Robertson will probably be two of the most popular ones there because they're in the middle. They're fairly easy to get. Pretty much anyone can get these just by playing the game fairly regularly, uh, and they're really, really good cards. You've then got 100k pack for eight. Uh, then you've got an ultimate pack for 10. Then for 12, so this is where it's going to be quite hard because you will have to do maybe some uh, weekly objectives that take a little bit of a grind or you will have to play the squad battles, those types of things there. But you can get um, Road to the Final onto Antoine Griezmann. Um, I believe this is this Road to the Final. No, this is Team of the Group Stage Griezmann. So a really nice card there. And that is for 12. But I personally wouldn't go for him um, just because I think these two options here for just two more tokens are more worth it. If you were to take something a little bit lower down, I would aim to try and get maybe like Mernier and Robertson. You could get these two, for example, with your, well, you'd need 13 tokens here. Um, so you could get these two, for example, or maybe I'd get Mernier and Werner or even the Inform down here and use them in an SBC. But I think uh, go for one, like a combination of Mernier and Robertson and then maybe some of the lower end cards or go for one of these two. And you've got a base icon pack for 14. So that's the maximum amount of tokens, I believe. And then you've got Douglas Costa as well with a foot birthday card there. 99 pace, 95 dribbling. Um, as an attacking midfielder as well. So you can play him as a striker or anything like that. He's got three star weak foot, which isn't the best, but he's got five star skills. He's so, so quick. That's an amazing, amazing card. So for me, I think it's between these two. Douglas Costa wouldn't really get into my team as it stands. Um, I could kind of build a team around him, but I have a lot of untradeables, so it's quite hard to fit players into my team. And I already have a great attack midfielder uh, in Footmas Kevin De Bruyne. But I could actually get Costa and work him into my team and try him out, because that's a really, really nice card. You could play him on the wing, you could play him as an attack midfielder, even as a striker. But this base icon pack is really tempting me. And the thing with this is, if you look here, you have to trade in, what is it, eight tokens to get a 100k pack. 
if you do the base icon pack for 14, you can get a 100k pack as well, because if you're not getting the best of icons, if it's a, an icon you won't use as it's an untradeable, you can just trade them in and get yourself a 100k pack as well, which is the equivalent of, of 8 foot, uh, foot swap tokens. So I think base icon pack is probably the best one to go for here. Unless Douglas Costa is a player who you really want and who'd really fit into your team, in which case you can do that. Maybe Griezmann could be a perfect player for you. Um, but that upgrade isn't huge compared to his, his normal card. I think he's only got like a plus one or two in, in, in a lot of stats. So instead of Griezmann or instead of like the ultimate pack, I'd, I'd rather go for like maybe a combo of these. I'm torn between going for the base icon and maybe going for Meunier because Meunier has an insane card. He wouldn't necessarily fit into my team though. Robertson... Uh, I think I could work him into my team for sure and he's got a nice card, but I'm not sure I'm not sure let me know down below what you're gonna be grinding towards Are you gonna try and get all 14 tokens and go for one of these? Maybe go for a combination of something like Mernier and Robertson uh, Let me know down below in the comments But there's something here for everyone if you if you really don't play much of the game You can easily get someone like Pepe who if you don't play the game could be good in your team If you don't have that many coins, but could also be really good in SBCs or you can get someone like Werner, Robertson or Mernier pretty simply and if you really do grind towards it you can get yourself um, these two right here and um, I think for me base icon pack is the one I want to get but if I don't quite manage to get all 14 tokens if I'm away on holiday or something but anything like that I'll probably be going for Mernier and then maybe someone like Robertson or Werner but I think this is really really good for me eh? there's something for everyone caters to a lot of different people on different budgets and depending on how much you actually play the game and they're actually worth doing because some of the previous things we've had Foden yes it's quite a good card but at this stage of the game you've got better options you've got someone like De Bruyne who you can buy from City who's going to be a better attacking midfielder um, we had like Ultimate Scream, uh, Diego Costa, it's a good card, but still not someone you'd necessarily want to use. But these are quite, quite kind of up-to-date cards as well. They were throwing out really old kind of cards then, but now you've got a foot birthday card. They've just been in packs recently, so you've got that. You've got the same with, with Douglas Costa too, so they're throwing in some new cards. And then you've got the base icon pack, which is something really cool and very unique. We've only had that release once, and it was for a few days. Um, so I think that th these are really, really cool, and EA have nailed it. Every single thing here I think is perfect. Um, for for what they what they're requiring in terms of tokens, so it's actually worth it, and they've nailed this, and they're all fairly easy to do. You've got the weekly objectives, you've got two a week from that, you've got one a week from squad battles, you've got one a week from SBCs, and I believe that's it. If you want to get all fourteen, that's what you need to do. Check in the weekly objectives, make sure you're doing all of those, and you can get yourself some really really good stuff. So I think this is the first time in a long time the EA have completely nailed something. Got it all perfect. I don't think there's any issues here. Foot birthday was a good promo. Carnival was a good promo. We had lots of good stuff. But we also had kind of bad things. Like the Icon SBCs we had, for example, during Foot Birthday. Um, you saw a lot of just overly expensive ones, especially like... I think best, you needed 10 SBCs to upgrade from his 93 to the 94. And it was like a million coins. It's just not worth it. I think Blanc was maybe... He, he was fairly fairly worth it. He's only like 900k or so, but like the best one was super expensive. The upgrade SBCs were just too much. Figo was the same. It's like a million coins to upgrade from a 92 to a 93, which just isn't worth it. Uh, and for a lot of these, they just weren't particularly good value. Um, so I think they didn't really get that right. And then also we had a lot of SBCs that were just kind of coin drains. They weren't really worth doing unless you got lucky. We didn't have any amazing SBCs. The daily SBCs too didn't give out that good packs. The best we got was a 45k pack and we had some giving out like 15k packs, which I think at this stage of the game, no one really wants. We should have had like 50k packs and things like that that were actually worth doing. Um, but uh, yeah, we did, we did have some good things, but also some bad things. Also, uh, something to keep you guys updated with, I believe we will have some new uh, League SBC players coming out fairly soon. They should be refreshing those. There's uh, generally, uh, I think there's three for all of them now, actually. Yeah, they, they all updated. So there's three players for all of these, and I believe some of the older players are now going to get phased out. And you're going to see them get replaced. I think there is a Jackson Martinez in the database that I've seen. An 87 Jackson Martinez that would be quite cool. Um, I believe that is a, uh, a League SBC card. So we should see that coming in soon. And then another League as well. I'm not entirely sure which one. But gradually every week or so we'll see new League SBC cards coming in. So that's something quite cool. And they're going to be fairly high rated too. So they're actually going to be cards that you might use. They seem to do some pretty good players. Like we've had really random players suddenly become usable. Like if you look at the um, Eredivisie, for example, um, Dumfries is one of the go-to right backs for a lot of pros. I've seen him him used a lot because of how strong he is, how quick he is. Um, same with Kieran Tierney in the Scottish uh, Scottish Premiership, right? Here. 
He's another player. Boyata even. like Random cards suddenly get really good. So I like League SBCs and I think EA um, are going to be refreshing the players for those soon. But yeah, I just wanted to just wanted to do a video like covering the positivity really with what EA have done because the, the genuine hasn't been nothing, hasn't really been anything like this that EA have really nailed I don't think for a while um, and I thought I'd highlight it because I've done some videos recently kind of talking about EA more in like a negative light and the things they've done wrong but they did something right and I think uh, think you guys might be interested in it. I thought I'd also let you guys know exactly how to get all the tokens just in case you were wondering because I know they don't really release that much information about it. Lots of people just don't play squad battles so don't get them and you don't really get the players if you play squad battles. Um, so it's something if you do want to get all 14 tokens that you do need to do, you need to be aware of. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below who you're going to be getting from Foot Swap and I'll see you guys later. Take care.